today we're making cinnamon rolls. I'm following somebody's recipe, I'll tag them, and it's everything they're doing. So a cup and a third of warm milk, third of a cup sugar, tablespoon of yeast, two tablespoons of sour cream. Whisk it and then you let it sit for 10 minutes. After the 10 minutes, add a half cup of melted butter, I'm using Kerrygold, and four cups of flour. Mix until combined and you'll cover it with plastic wrap for an hour and let it rise. It should look like this. Uncover should look like that. Take the plastic off. Then you're just gonna deflate it. Flour your surface. Then take your dough and put it in the flour. Then you knead for 10 minutes. Should look and feel like this when you're done. Microwave a stick of butter. To the butter, add two tablespoons of cinnamon and one cup of brown sugar. Mix it. Now we roll this out in a rectangle shape. Add your filling. I always add about a cup and a half more, but now we're gonna roll it. I always melt butter and you already use brown sugar, cinnamon -y thing, and then I pour it in the base. I normally do this with fishing line. I don't have any, so I'm going to try a knife. This is what they look like. Last one, and then you let them sit for 15 minutes before you put them in the oven at 350 for about 35, 40 minutes. In a bowl, add half a block of cream cheese, two tablespoons of butter, we're gonna guess. Ooh, same with milk. It's like two teaspoons or something. I don't know. Two cups of powdered sugar and blend. Add some vanilla and mix. We add the icing. And once you're done, they should look like this. One bite, everyone knows the rules. <laughs> These are the best cinnamon rolls I've ever eaten in my life. If you go to the little little Annie's in the mall, they don't even have cinnamon they're rolls. They're better than those. Better than those. This is Cinnabon, that's what you mean. Yeah. Even better. These are like these are like your grandma made them. Except for she's twenty six. And they're amazing. <laughs>